Hi everyone, welcome to another Memory Keeping Monday with two peas in a bucket.com. I'm Lisa Truesdell and today I'll be walking you through how I built this page from start to finish. The photo I'm using today may look like it's of a little boy relaxing in a floaty, but the reality is entirely different. This was a day when my youngest son woke up talking and didn't stop. His older brothers were away at a day camp and by lunch I was getting tired. I packed us up for an afternoon at the lake hoping for a break in the constant monologue, but it didn't work. He talked the whole time we were there. I thought it would be fun to build a page full of speech bubbles to capture that memory. The page ended up being a little chaotic in the end, but it's a perfect fit for how I felt trying to keep up with him that day. The two-piece store has been full of amazing new stuff lately, and I've pulled together some of my favorites from my recent orders to use today. I've got new stamps from Studio Calico, some of the October Afternoon Midway line, and a bit of Amy Tangerine's Ready, Set, Go. I love all of the bright colors and can't wait to get them onto a layout. I'm starting my page with a ledger background. I've been turning to subtle pattern papers instead of cardstock for backgrounds lately, and I recently stocked up on a lot of ledgers. This one is from Echo Park. I wanted to add a bit more dimension to this background, so I'm using a starburst mask from Studio Calico along with their Mr. Huey's Shine Mist. This will add just a little shimmer to my background, which is a great match for this lake photo. I'll be positioning the point of the starburst under where my photo will go. When I saw these new vellum die cut speech bubbles by Twine and Ink, I knew they'd be a perfect starting point for this page. I started by placing my photo near the bottom right of the page and then added an Amy Tangerine tag to the corner of it. The tag comes already embellished with stitching and buttons. I love these little details as a time saver. From there, I started placing the vellum bubbles above the photo. I'm spreading them out evenly and making sure I leave some space in between them so I can add other embellishments to the grouping. I wanted to keep with the speech bubble theme, so I grabbed these new stamps from Studio Calico. They're exclusive to two peas, and I knew the big speech bubble would be perfect. I stamped it onto neutral pattern paper and then cut out the shape before adding it to my page. I'll add my journaling to it later. Next, I'll start to fill in around the speech bubbles with other die cuts and embellishments. I still haven't glued anything down at this point. I want to be able to move things around and make adjustments as I bring in more layers. I'm using die cuts from Amy Tangerine and October Afternoon, and the wood veneer hexagons are from Studio Calico. There's really no right or wrong to this. Just start adding bits and pieces and moving them around until it looks right. I'm trying to balance out the colors that I'm using, and I'm making sure that I spread out the dimensional accents. There are still a few more big empty spots in my design, so I'm going to bring in some vellum arrows from Twine and Ink, and then add some more stamps from the Studio Calico set. I like to place the actual clear stamps right onto my background to get a feel for how they'll work before I commit ink to paper. I'll go ahead and glue and stitch everything down before I stamp these images. I have a lot of floating elements on the page, and I want to give them a strong base at the bottom of the layout. I'm starting with this wide gray striped washi from Freckled Fawn and placing it about half an inch from the bottom of the page. I'm laying it underneath my photo and stretching it almost all the way across the background. Next, I'll layer this dark wood grain paper along the very bottom of the page. I like to use darker tones here at the bottom to balance everything else going on on the layout. I also want to bring a little color up to the top of the page, so I'll be starting with a navy border, and then I'll add a bit of green pattern paper over to the right side. I had a bit of video not record, but I brought in some gray pattern paper and October afternoon washi up in the top corner, and then I spelled out my title with neutral thickers from Amy Tangerine right below my speech bubble with journaling. I also added some red heart washi to draw attention to the title and to pick up on some of the other reds that I've used on the page. To finish this layout, I just want to add a few more dimensional accents. I'm starting with October afternoon brads, one by the speech bubble, one on the right, and one up at the top left. My last embellishment will be a few of these enamel dots by my mind's eye. 
Here's my finished layout. Your eyes don't deceive you. The finished page here is quite a bit different than the page that I finished in the video. And you might have noticed that a few of the die cuts and stickers changed during the filming process. I found that one of the most valuable tools that you can have as a scrapbooker is the ability to say, okay, this just isn't working. Sometimes you just need to switch things up. After walking away from this page, I had a better perspective on what I'd need to change to make it work. The first thing to go was some of the red accents. Instead, I added some more of the yellow from the tag and let that take the position of the accent color for the page. The two colors had been competing for attention and the page really became more visually cohesive by bumping up the yellow and toning down the red. After that, I printed two more small photos and added them into the mix. These photos are much more animated than the focal photo and bring in a lot more energy. I'm glad I took the time to make these changes. I think they helped my layout achieve the feeling that I was going for when I started. Thanks for joining me today, even if this start to finish video took a few twists and turns along the way. I hope to see you next week for another Memory Keeping Monday at 2 peasinabucket.com.